Oh. Save? Yes? The words of Terry Hints fills your soul. If you want, you can save to a different slot in case you fail. We're on file 15. Buddy. Damn it. She took the boat. Holy shit. Nothing remains. Joy is gone. I guess so. Yeah. <sighs> okay. This game fucked me up, dude. It's just, it's what, it's what, it's one shot all over again. And the fucking Undertale. God. Well, you guys are gonna enjoy me crying then. It's my first time crying on a recording. That's legit crying. Drifting away. This is Rando's symbols. The end is near. Nigh. Guess we're almost end game, huh? Figured so. some rando rations I'm gonna have these for myself God it actually made me emotional dude God cared about me. Hell, I used to clean toilets, but not in this world. Now I get the girl. <laughs> Finally, I get what I deserve. Ah, don't touch her. What? Her face? Gotta brand her. <laughs> that way everyone will know she's mine. Motherfucker. Holy shit! <sighs> Fuck. I won't allow this. Did 
That's fine, that's fine. Just fucking hanging in there, Brad. you think you're going? Her face. My mark on history. <laughs> oh, shit. Buddy. Here, cover up. I don't- I don't want this. But you're hurt. Your face. I don't want your help. Why can't you leave me alone? But... What do you want from me? You've done nothing but hurt me. No, I want to help you. Rick, Sticky, that's not what they say. Fuck Rick and Sticky! You don't know me, buddy. Nobody does. I do, Brad. I know what you really are. You're a monster. What? You've taken everything away from me. And Marty, what you did to him, only a monster could do that. Buddy, you don't know him! I know he was a better fighter to me in a few days than you ever were. What? Okay, this is a... Okay, I have no... Oh yeah, I forgot I have no arms. Buddy! Ah, oh, shit. There's no damage that time. Randall? Yeah, fill that up all with the- all the di fill it with all the diesel. It's empty. Bicycle's gone. It's locked. Everything's locked. I don't know. I don't fucking care. I just, just want to know where Buddy is. There's gotta be a reason of filling up our diesel firebombs. There's gotta be a reason. How many bottles do I have left? I have 14 empty bottles, dude. It's 
twelve oh five. Out of the line, friend. She belongs to Rando now. She doesn't belong to anybody. Hey. What happened to her face? It's ruined! The bald guy did it. Buddy. We need to run now. Buddy! Stop. Oh, well, it's the guys. I, I swear, right? Um, um, I can explain. You came. Goodbye, human. I've warned her since the beginning. <sighs> These fucking motherfuckers. What did you expect from us, Brad? No. You can't have her. All of you people are filling her head with nonsense, blinding her. You don't understand. I have to save her. I'm sorry, guys. I won't be able to survive this. Have many diesel bombs for a reason. Okay, Tiger Man, I don't want to do this either. Alright, who's next? Randall! Sir, you don't have to speak. Don't worry, little girl. A face is nothing. Inside, it's... it's what matters. I... 
I, I know you are strong. Randall, he spoke. That's the first time I've ever heard him. His voice sounds so weak. I can't believe it. Wait, what about the bald guy? We haven't forgotten. Face it, you can't win. Just give up now and walk away with your life. You don't need to die today. No. Hmm? You don't understand. I've been dead for 35 years. Today's the day I live. I'm gonna make it through this. Hey, that's the crow guy. Yeah. Yeah, stronger than I thought. He can't possibly take down all of us. Kill him! What the hell? He's not human. How is he still alive?
I think there's a reason that they're scared of me. What if I... What if... What if I'm already a monster now? didn't even phase me anymore. Just, just give him the girl! Yeah, let's go! He's a fucking monster! Get away, you freak! I don't think this game could make me feel this way. Time to die, guys. Holy shit. B buddy, stay back. Don't touch her, Master Armstrong. P please, we don't need to fight. She is the future. She's just a kid.
That's it. It's mano a mano. Last one. Make it count. There's no resist anymore. End it. You really are the best. Thank you for everything. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? What did they tell about? What did they tell about the police? Jesus. <laughs> How the hell am I still alive? I have no idea. Oh shit. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Why are you trying now? Why weren't you there when I needed you? You've taken everything away from me. I know. I finally like had a chance in life and you take it away. Stop. Why are you trying to hurt me so much? You make me sick. I hate you. Stop. I know you hate me. I know. 
Why, Brad? Why did you do this to me? I had a chance to choose something for myself. Nobody. You didn't. For good or for evil, it didn't matter. Those men wanted to use you. People are always going to try to use you and hurt you. Choose your life for you. Don't preach to me! Please. It's too late for that. You can't just be a father all of a sudden. I just... For once, I wanted to do something good. I'm the one that was supposed to protect you. I can't let anyone hurt you. Brad. You've hurt me the most. I'm confused. Buddy. Can you do something for me? Please. What? Hold me. Why? I want to know what it's like. I'm begging you. Did I do the right thing? Is that the end? Is there any, is there maybe anything afterwards? Martin Armstrong. Of course it wasn't over. And I still don't even have the bike. <laughs> Why do we have Toby? He's gonna sit all through all the drama and say, what is happening here? Of course they couldn't have just let it end there. Joyful I got I got the joyful end. Really? Or huh. Or was that sarcastic? Well, first of all <laughs> Wonderful. Hi guys, this is Future Lok Polymorpha and I just wanted to share my final thoughts about this game because uh, the things that I said after this was actually really messy. I did look at some like some walkthroughs on another Lisa game, which is well, apparently this game has a sequel, which is Lisa the Joyful, and it's okay though. I did I like read some stuff, but I didn't really get the context behind it. So maybe maybe it's a little spoiler, but but we'll we'll, we'll take that for another time if I ever do decide to play this again. 
but we have my little sister here again as well because she was also in the playthrough um so what are your thoughts about the game because honestly um i didn't enjoy the gameplay but the story really got me hooked i, I was like really hooked until the end i didn't really care about much of the sub stories i probably should have but i don't know just i just wanted to really get done with the story because that's the thing about lisa it made me really care about brad as a character but what do you think yeah, I want to know Brad uh, or his relationship with Buddy. You might want to step closer into the mic. Okay, so, okay. so Brad is is like the typical innocent type of dude you see in the real world. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna do good. Even you've try you tried to do your best because it's not gonna go well. You know. That's kind of the thing, cause the sense of what is good and what is bad in this game is it's it's actually blur. It's actually yeah, it's it's, it's arguable. Great. Because, you see, the main conflict of the story is that there's no more women left. Humanity is dying. Humanity is pretty much, pretty in, much dead. endangered at this point. Um, but at the same time, Brad's moral... Uh, was not cause, accommodating the yeah, recent problem. Yeah, Buddy. Uh, but Buddy is the name of the girl. I, what, I kept calling her Lisa. Lisa, there's a, uh, there's oh, a yeah, prequel game. Because I, I don't want to play that. I think the reason... I Have you read the... The joy joyful one, the end. I didn't really look much into it. Well, you're ready for spoilers, bro. Yeah, just only a little, I guess. Well, in the end, maybe Brad is actually traumatized of what happened to Lisa back then. Because, ah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I kind of. I kind of. By that, by the dad. Yeah, I kind of. She died in Tucson and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe that's mm. what developed actually into his morals, which became conflict. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of got, I kind of took the hit on that one that that was the conflict. So yeah, mm. and I'm, I don't know because I haven't looked into the first Lisa as well. Because Brad, because he's mentioned Buddy as a second chance. Yeah. So I guess you. But the uh, when yeah. I checked the joyful, I didn't hear and I didn't see or be, be see Brad being mentioned in the joyful one though. Uh, cause, cause I think he's. Maybe he's already dead at the at end the of at the end of Lisa the Painful. Why? Don't or no, no, no. At the time that Painful is going, Lisa is already dead, probably or somewhere else. No, no, Brad. I mean, oh, shit. Brad. That's what I meant. The timeline of Joyful and the Painful seems correlating to each other. Yeah, because at w the sequence of events is Lisa. Joy joyful. No, just Lisa, like okay. the first one. And then Lisa the Painful, and then after that is Lisa the Joyful. Oh. Hmm. There's a, the sequel. Maybe. Hmm. I could probably take a look into the game again, although I would, I actually would need to actually, I would need to pay attention and get good. Uh, yeah. But uh, turn-based games. I just really, suck you out. I just really don't like turn-based games. Who does? <laughs> well, so, my friend does. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> hmm. But. I don't know. Uh, it's just not. It's just not my cup of tea, pretty much. Yeah. It's not a. The game itself. It's not something that I would recommend. But the story. It is something that. I. Do believe. Well, I, I definitely believe that the story is something that is worth. Sinking your teeth into. Mm. And. Some. This is this is kind of a recurring thing because Jamie and I have been kind of also looking, or rather, we've been observing this kind of thing as well, like stories that you can only tell via video games. Um, I would you consider this as the same thing as that? Cause I I don't think. Cause let's say cause I really I really hate the gameplay of Lisa. But I think that's kind of the turn, what added the to the, base. yeah, the turn-based thing, or you know how tedious or cumbersome it is. But I think that's what also added the the game sells itself as a life-ruining game experience. Uh -huh. But I think the way that I I think the fact that I do hate the gameplay is I guess maybe that added somehow to the experience. It may just be me, because I kind of understood that Brad was going through a lot. Because it's not just hey I'm a. I'm gonna hack all through all these enemies. Then again, I might just be, I, I was just a dumbass. There was a lot of other party members, better ones that you could have used 
the game yeah. that made it easier. I was just too goddamn. I couldn't be arsed. I just wanted to say buddy. Mm. Um. What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So, if you were to, let's say you translate this, uh, the story of Lisa, the the painful into a movie format. I don't think it wouldn't come off to me as strong. Maybe there will be a lot of revisions to screenwriting, of course. Mm. Well, because you know, there's a lot of quirkiness in the game, and yeah. like it's, it's it's the same case as you know, I was I w I've been watching Jamie play Yakuza. I guess it's gonna be the same case as that they do translate into a movie. There's gonna be a lot of revisions. But anyway, because I really, I guess the main focus, the main strong point that I really took into this game was the way that the story is written. Or you know the flow of the or the, theme of the, the theme of the game itself, because it's really not as strong. The effect I get, I reckon, wouldn't be as strong as if you're just watching a movie and then you're just playing, and then when you're playing the game, because when you're playing the game, you're playing as Brad, yeah. and you feel where he's going through. Like literally, you're playing the game as him. Because you're you're Brad, mm. basically. Mm, even though, you know, my scratch the multiple times that I died. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was that. Yeah. So, um, let's... Versus watching a movie wherein you... Because it's... It's kind of... You have to really suspend... You have to really... There's like a higher effort to suspend your disbelief. Or rather, you know, sympathize with the characters. Yeah. When you're watching a movie, unless the director, really the, does the it writer, well. the writer and the director. Mm. I'm kind of go. I'm going off on a tangent here, pretty much. But I guess conclusion is I just liked the story of Lisa. As you can, as if you watch the play, if you watch the 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 playthrough, I definitely um, it, it got me emotional, and I think. That's a, I think that's a good thing in itself. But would I recommend someone else to play this game? I get un unless maybe I knew that they like turn-based games. May maybe maybe if I knew someone liked turn-based games, I would recommend it. But like just as a game in itself, that I would recommend to someone, I probably wouldn't. To someone you know. Really. Mm, I don't know, cause. Like, let's say if someone's just starting off of being gay. Because the thing with Lisa is it's not very newbie-friendly. Yep. Or that, or that's, I don't know. Or that maybe, maybe it's just me. Because I feel like that if you're just starting off on video games, I don't think Lisa's the way to go. Yeah, you'd be traumatized for life. Yeah, you'd be traumatized. It's Because the thing with Lisa, it's kind of breaking off standards as well. Mm -hmm. Eventually, as the story develops, you're pushed into these more harsher decisions where ultimately they don't even really matter. Yeah. Same case as well with Doki Doki Literature Club as well. Spoilers. Um, but yeah. This game. That that I guess that's all I can say. If I were to rate it, I'd rate it at for. As a game in itself, I'd rate it at. I'd give it a for the gameplay. Because I'm a biased fuck, alright? <laughs> I don't like turn based games. Oh shit, sorry about that. Um, but for the story, it's definitely something I would recommend. 4 out of 5. 4.5 out of 5. How about that? Um, IGN. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit, it's not that cool. But yeah. Anyway, uh, if you guys watch through the whole playthrough, um, a real thank you for sticking around. Um, I guess this will be the last, um, uh, um, the last gameplay episodic sort of video that I'll, let's play video that I'll be uploading individually. Um, for future content, I'll just be uh, if I am gonna be playing games, I'll probably I'll probably most likely just play them on stream. Oh. And if I am gonna be uploading videos, I'm gonna be uh, they're just, just they're like gonna be actual projects. Like random stuff you wanna do? Not not necessarily random, but like let's say I wanna do like an animation project. I really wanna do animation projects or voice mm -hmm. acting projects or let's say the speed arts. 
That's good. That's good. Yeah, stuff like those. Cause I'm, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know. I could make like some sort of exception in the future. But you you get the idea basically. Okay. But yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, share this video if you want. I guess it really helps me out a lot. You got anything to say? Uh, nothing really. <laughs> nothing really. <laughs> right. So, um, thank you so much, by the way, for over 200 subscribers. Never, I didn't think that I would actually get some people to, you know. I'll watch around. I don't think anyone watches my Lisa playthrough though. Well, no, no one. Some that's the thing. Audience. That's the thing with the gameplay videos. Nobody really watches them. Well, unless maybe I'm some dedicated fan do. Maybe uh, unless I'm like on on stream, like because I can interact with people while I'm on stream. But versus gameplay videos, I'm just kind of there playing the game. Yeah. Mm, it's it's kind of hard to build an audience with that. So that's why I'm just saving them for for the streams. And besides, it's much more fun when you actually interact with people while playing games anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, for the meantime, cheers.